Edgar, I almost pulled for you. I was so close. I saw what your LD does with all those imperils. Melee, magic, and ranged. Oh, that sounds delicious. Until I learned it doesn't work as a call ability. You gotta be on the team to even do it. And no, I don't I don't want your Pop Tart having ass shoulders on my team. Disgusting. What are you even doing? You creepazoid. Realm's a kid. No. I don't want to look at you. Maybe for just the call ability, I could see. But no. I don't want you around. So skip. Moving on. But the Strago C90? Oh, baby. I'm a big fan of this. That Strago EX is something else. My only regret in this entire run is we only got to use the Strago EX once towards the end. So spoiler alert, if you want, you can just skip towards the end. That's the best part of the video anyway. When Strago pops his EX. Because my god, is it delicious. It hits so damn hard. A great pairing would be Strago and Lude, in fact. Strago and Birdman. That way Strago can just do that EX more often. That sounds like money. I gotta test that after this. Some things to note about the fight. The orb. They're definitely catering to Edgar, of course. They're really going for that melee, ranged, and magic imperil. But you don't really need that. You could just bring Defense Ignore. The only Defense Ignore I brought was Strago Skill 1. Pretty sure that's the only thing that does it. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but I know the skill one does it. Um, VV works with his embers. Those ignore defense. Orin's counters ignore defense. We got plenty of options for it. This one, not so bad. It's garbage time after all. And this orb is not even lethal. So you don't even really have to pay that much attention to it. Not only is it non-lethal, it doesn't even hit that hard. So yeah, you really can just steamroll it. So I kind of figured let's just bring a summon that's going to charge faster, which is the only reason Chocobo is here instead of Ifrit. So we can just go in for the kill and get this over with. Let's just troll these guys. Who cares? Oh, speaking of trolling, and by trolling I don't mean, you know, spamming tissues on Facebook or whatever stuff like that. I mean the kind of person who's going to slide in your DMs and say the most horrible, horrific shit they can think of. We had an instance in the Dystopia server. No, we didn't have somebody who's doing this. But somebody did join since it's Discord and anybody can kind of just hop into a server whenever they want. We did have someone join who apparently had a history of doing that to content creators. I only knew because Forty told me. He, he didn't just tell me. He showed me evidence of this guy doing it. Not just once, but a consistent pattern where he'd seek people out and say horrible things. Like tell people to kill themselves and all this awful stuff. So I'm going to just make it known if you're going to be one of those people and you come into my server, I don't care if you do it on my server or not. If I get wind of it, I will get all the evidence I can and I will put you on blast and I will let everyone in the community know what kind of a piece of shit you are. And you will not be welcome in my server or anywhere. So let it be known. Do not be pulling any of that shit around me because I will shine a light on it. I know you're more comfortable in the dark. I will blind you with sunlight and you'll be banished forever. Understood? Great. On a more positive note though, well, I guess it depends who you ask. It's positive. But founder guys lock holes. I don't know if anybody saw that. I made a community post about it and barely anybody noticed it. But the people on Facebook definitely took notice when I put it over there. Founder's channel, at least the last I checked, had about 30-something subscribers. I don't know where it is now. The video I'm talking about had 200 views, maybe, not even, earlier that day. And with the help of Serial, myself, and Simply Lost, just putting it out there, we got it to over 1,000 views in less than a day. And it was awesome. It was one of those default community come-together moments where... We finally took a break from just talking about hot takes constantly and actually did something good. And it was really fun and refreshing. And good news for everybody. Well, it's still good news for Founder too, but oh my God. I mean, this guy, 560 G tokens and neither the LD or the burst showed up. That's insane. That is the worst pull luck I have ever seen. But hey, misery loves company. Hence the views, I suppose. But, and to his credit, he had the best attitude about it ever. He was like, I don't care, I wanted locked, man. I was expecting the pity anyway. Like, the dude was laughing the whole time it was happening. It was really entertaining, you know. 
to be to be hit with luck that bad and to just have a laugh out of it and make the best of it that i just thought it was awesome because if he was over there crying i wouldn't i wouldn't have shared the video like i would if it was like oh my bad pull luck everybody feel bad for me i wouldn't have shared the video i've been like dude <laughs> i know that sucks but come on it's, it's a game get over it <laughs> that's how i would have been but he wasn't like that he was having fun with it so i decided to have fun with it too and it worked out great I've rambled long enough. Back to the fight real quick. Notice we are taking the orb up a little bit. Because normally outside of the summon, this Quasar would just kind of let the orb stand still. Now that we're in the summon, up to three. Which we desperately needed that. Stay alive. Realistically, looking back at this, I could have used more Quasars instead of LDs to up that orb. Because it's not like I needed to break their turns back anyway. Noctis is here. We have enough turn manipulation. We don't need to set their turns back. We're good. So I could have played it more carefully. Could have been safer if I used more Quasars. So if anyone wants to do this run with this team, use those Drago skill ones. They'll help you out immensely. Oh, but enough about Drago skill one. It's that time. It's that time. Are you guys ready? Okay. Look at their health right now. And look where it ends up. This is just... Oh, hoo that's right, have another one. Eat some more, eat some more. And then we get the follow-up, dead. You think we're done? We're not done. Here we go, oh my god. Look at what that did. Where they were, and where they are now, that is, mm, that's so good. Big fan, Strago, oh, I was waiting such a long time to blue that Strago armor, and it was well worth the wait. That was amazing. What did you guys run, though? I'm curious to see what you guys brought. I think everybody should max out Strago, though. My god, he's great. Okay, thanks for watching.